All right, I want to show you guys how to f possibly fix the uh, ER um, error messages on your Omron uh, blood pressure uh, device, blood pressure medicine device. This is a particular one. It's an IntelliSense uh, BP785. Uh, I'll consider it a newer model because they go back 20-some years. And, um, and so the error I've been getting is an ER4. But again, this should work with a lot of the errors. And so... Let's go ahead and check my blood pressure now. That's an E3. And I feel like I got my cuff on tight enough. See there where the line is going where it's supposed to be. And tighten it up again. A lot of these machines are finicky, the newer ones. They're not as really made as well as like the older ones, it seems like. And if you look at the reviews on Amazon, they're a little bit worse than the older ones. There we go again. Okay, now I'm getting an E I E five error. So what you want to want to do when you get these errors, um, regardless of what number of error it is, and I'll show you at the end of this video the different type of errors. Um, some are for overpressure. Like ER1 is for inflation error, ER2 is for deflation. I'll show you all these errors here at the end. But what's ha two things, three things you need to check. Um, if you have a, a power cord and it's plugged up by electric, that's preferable as opposed to batteries. If you do have batteries in, um, that could be an issue where the batteries are getting weak. You need to change the batteries. And you'll also want to make sure that this is in very well the cuff connector connecting is in very well so that could be causing your error if it's not making full contact and three is these Omrons for tend to form a, a kink here you know when you're using it it'll form a kink well it's just like a garden hose you know when when you have when there's a kink in the garden hose the water keeps stops coming out even though you might have it on full blast so you could try to undo it right but a lot of times it won't work so what what you need to do is create a makeshift stent um, and by doing that you get like a pencil or something and as you can see here I'm typing a uh, taping a, a pencil around to get rid of that kink in the line which could be interfering with your uh, full connection and full reading now I was getting that error now let's try it And you can see here the reading here it says okay that means I got the um, that I got the uh, the cuff on correctly and it's making connection uh, 125 over 82 so as you see there it works when I fix the kink in the um, in the line that goes from the cuff to the machine uh, also too if your if your cuff is getting a little bit older you could, you could purchase these cuffs like on eBay or Amazon separately if this wears out. Um, and also too, if your arms are too big, you can also put it on the forearm. You don't have to put it on the bicep here necessarily, which is up on the upper arm. You could put it down on the forearm and it, the reading will be just as good as long as it's on the left, left arm, you know, the side of the heart where the heart is, is on the left side of the body. So you can also do it here. So um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And here are the error codes.